Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to my channel. We are today, February 16, 2017. And today we have a book review. We have quite a few book reviews that I want to do um, and um, while I'm here. So the particular book that I am going to discuss for you today is called The End Power. And the author is Moise Naim. Now I'm going to put my glasses for a little bit before we start discussing this book and let me read the back for you. Hi. <laughs> it is, um, power is shifting from large stable armies to loose bands of insurgents, from corporate living to nimble startups, and from presidential palaces to public squares. But power is also changing, becoming harder to use and easier to lose. In the end power, award-winning columnist and former foreign policy editor, Naeem Moiz, illuminates the struggle between once dominant mega players and the new micro powers, challenging them in every field of human endeavor, drawing on provocative original research and a lifetime of experience in global affairs. Naeem explains how the end of power is reconfiguring our world. It is the New York Times who said this, and then the Financial Times says, a fascinating account of the way states, corporations, and traditional interest groups are finding it harder to defend their rebounds. Nani makes it ease with eloquence. All right? The Empower makes a truly important contribution persuasively, hopefully you understand portraying a compelling dynamic of change cutting across multiple game boards of the global matrix. Now, um, I purchased this book last, two years ago. Um, hold on, when did I get it? Yep, I bought it in 11-13-2015. Um, when did he write the book? I'll, I'll look it up for you. Um, and I'm still not even finished. I'm reading so many different books. I'm still not even finished. I am in page 182. That's where I am. Um, right now, I'm reading another book. So why am I talking about this book? The first book that I got from him was Illicit. I read it in about two days. And it was an eye-opener for me. We'll discuss that book as well. The End Power is amazing. It's a great book. It is not, you know, it has graphic in it. It is not like, I don't want to say that it is not your everyday language. It is pretty understanding. So it is not a novel. It is a factual book. It is well written. The language is pretty, you know, smooth. But what I love with this book is that it helped me understand the world of today. This is a book that I will finish and then I will pick up again and read it because this is like, if you want to do anything in this life, you have to read, okay? This is a book that really lets you understand how presidents, how you know, people like I just talked to you about, people with great title, not necessarily have a lot of powers. In we, the public, I feel like the public always perceive individuals with big title as powerful individuals. But in this book, you will read how powerful individuals are really getting needed by newcomers, by new people with new ideas, with fresh ideas. And it's, oh my God, like I feel like I'm not giving this book a lot of credit the way I am explaining it to you. Um, because I don't know, like I guess when English is not your first language, well, I don't want to say when English, I guess I don't know, like I'm trying to find my way not to give too much, but also to make sure that you understand why it's primordial if you want to do anything new, if you just want to go out in the world that certain books are really important. And this book, you really get a sense of um, how the dynamic is changing. 
Let me figure out if I can read a small passage for you. Um, okay. Okay, let's let's read this. This is page 90. Eight five minutes. Okay, quickly. I just wanna I just wanna I just wanna read something for you, okay? Just so that you can understand. All right. There is also evidence. This is this is page 90, and this is governments are falling more quickly. There is also evidence that since World War II, governing coalition and our cabinets have increasingly tended to end due to political infighting before their term is up. Political scientists distinguish between two kinds of cabinet termination. One is technical, that is pertaining to constitutional reason, particular to the country in question, or to situations in which elections are due by law or a prime minister dies and must be replaced. The other kind of cabinet termination is this in other words, due to political volatility, as when a cabinet resigns due to political dissension or loses a vote of confidence in parliament. According to a study based on the same data, set of 17 parliamentary democracy in Europe since 1945, there were more discretionary termination than technically terminations in the 70s and in the 80s than in previous decades. In the 1990s, the proportion balanced out, however, with an equal number of technical and discretionary termination. Now, you know, I, oh, wow. I, I say this to you, to, um, I read this little extra for you so that you have a sense of this book. You know, if, if English is not your first language, I don't know if you can get this book in a, a different language. I'm very certain that you can. It's, it's, you know, take your time with it. You know, I started to read this book um, uh, last, you know, a couple of months ago. So I don't read it like a novel because it is not a novel. I have to make sure that I am understanding what I'm reading. And what I do with these books is I have my notes because I take notes so that I can project the book to the time of today. This is what I do to um, educate myself to make sure that I am not falling off the bandwagon of the world of today, as well as making sure that the youth agency will be up to par and ready to be strong for this world. Okay, so I hope you really understand. Um, I'm going to listen to the video again because I feel like I'm missing a lot when it comes to this book. I feel like I'm not doing it justice. So if I feel like I should do a different review, I will. If not, I guess I will post this for you. I hope you got something out of it. It is a great book. Pick it up and read it, all right? Thank you for watching this video and you have a beautiful day. I will see you in the next. Bye.